the pantheon of fatherland and freedom, Tancredo Navis was inaugurated on September 7, 1986, sponsored by Bradesco Foundation and donated to the Brazilian government during the administration of José Sarni. As this is not a mausoleum, the correct term for the monument should be cenotaph, meaning a funeral memorial erected to honor a person or group of persons whose remains are elsewhere or are in an unknown location. It is located in the square of the Three Powers in Brasilia. Created by Oscar Niemeyer, features modernist architecture symbolizing a dove. It has three floors, adding the total building area of 2,105 square meters. Its foundation stone was laid by the President of France, François Mitterrand, on October 15, 1985. The exhibition area entirely dedicated to Tancredo Navis, was reopened in 2013. The new design, curated by Marcelo Dantas and Silvia Albertini, favors direct contact of the public with the issues addressed through the exhibition copies of documents, Silvio Films Tendler and Interactive Technologies. Its purpose is to honor those who have excelled in favor of the Brazilian homeland. His conception occurred during the national uproar caused by the death of Tancredo Navis, the first elected civilian president, albeit indirectly, after 20 years of military rule in 1984. The names of the honorees can be found in Steel Book, also called Book of the Homeland Heroes, which gives them the status of national hero. The tome is on the third floor, between the disloyalty panel, sculpture in honor of the martyrs of the 19th century mining uprising and the stained glass by Marianne Peretti. Every time a new name is written in their metal pages along with their respective biography, a ceremony in memoriam to the honoree is performed. The Pantheon of Fatherland and Freedom, Tancredo Navis, in the square of the Three Powers in Brasilia was designed by Oscar Niemeyer in 1985. Its foundation stone was laid by the President of France, François Mitterrand, on October 15, 1985 and the Pantheon was inaugurated on September 7, 1986. The Pantheon has three floors, adding the total building area of 2,105 square meters. Inside, in the Red Hall, is the Wall of Liberty, the artist Athos. On the third floor, located the stained glass by Marianne Peretti authorship, also author of the Cathedral Stained Glass Windows of Our Lady Aparicida. On the external side, on top of a tower built diagonally, burning eternal flame. A small flame, which is the people's freedom and independence of the country. The Pantheon was listed in 2007 by Ethan, along with 34 other works of Oscar Niemeyer, who completed a hundred years.